Hey guys, this is Peter Bowen, and welcome to yet another video. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be talking about architecture and math, of course. Um, the architect that I'm going to be talking about is, her name is Norma Merrick Scarhilaric. It's really hard to pronounce, it's like, look at this name. I had no idea how to pronounce it the first time I saw it. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Norma and a little bit about her work as well. Norma Merrick Scarlett was born on April 15, 1928 and died on February 6, 2012. She was born in Harlem, New York and attended Hunter College High School. She also attended Barnard College and she gained her degree from Columbia University School of Architecture in, in 1950. She became one of the first black women to be licensed in America as well as the first black woman to be licensed in New York and California. Some examples of our designs are the San Bernardino City Hall in San Bernardino, California, and the Fox Plaza in San Francisco, as well as the Terminal 1 at the Los Angeles International Airport. And the reason I made that whole intro with like, um, sort of like Japanese music and stuff is because she created well, she was one of the people who created the Embassy of the United States in Tokyo, Japan. She was one of the architects who worked on that. The Embassy of the United States in Tokyo is located in the Akasaka neighborhood of Minato, Tokyo. In Japan, of course. Tokyo, Japan. Japan. Yeah. The building was completed in 1976, and it still stands today. And with these rectangular shapes, the building has been able to last for about 40 decades. Since the building is made up of a series of rectangles, then it would make sense for the edges to be parallel. And the side of the building and the bottom of the building to be perpendicular. As well as the top and the side of the building. Really, a lot of parts can be perpendicular. The Fox Plaza also includes many parallel lines, and some of our other works might also include them. In architecture, really geometry is key, because without geometry, then you wouldn't be able to like construct all of these parallel lines, perpendicular lines, be able to set up the foundation for the building. If she hadn't taken geometry, she wouldn't be as successful as she is today. If I were to meet her in real life, then I probably would learn a lot more about like buildings. Because I, I, I still wonder how they come up with such brilliant ideas for these buildings, and they are able to like survive for like ages. I've always wondered that. Of course, there's also maintenance and stuff, so I guess that makes sense. The people, the caretakers after her, would have to make sure that the building is up and ready. But she set the foundation for the rest of the e years to come. One thing that I have to learn in geometry is constructions. Oh boy, I don't like constructions. You have to use lots of compasses and rulers. It's really... I think that might have been her... I, like, I don't know how she would be able to come up with all these ideas, but that would have to be the start, using constructions, compasses, Constructing the lines and blueprints and stuff. And then the people just build it up. And then get yourself a building. Hooray. Jesus Ween is a lot more fun than Halloween. Yay! Going back to something I said earlier, she was the first African Amer one of the first African Americans to actually get a license in architecture. And I think that that is a really amazing thing to do. To be one of the first people of your race to actually be able to do this stuff. I mean, like, people don't really care if you're, like, the second in your series. People only care about the first one. Um, I don't... Usually, you wouldn't really hear about her. You wouldn't hear about Norma or anything like this, because she hadn't created anything as major as, um, other architects. But I do think that she do does res deserve I think that she does deserve some recognition for all of the works that she's put in. She definitely probably lived a 
lived a fulfilling life and like uh, look at that smile I mean doesn't it look sincere I do wish her name was a bit easier to pronounce though that's the end of the video no extra stuff this time so may I present you to this fabulous door over here and you can make your exit right now it's kind of dark out. Goodbye. Smoke weed every day.